Friends, man is trying to become God. You are looking at the world's first living robot, Xenobot. Scientists Joshua Bogart, Michael Levin and Sam Kriegman from the Vermont University, Tufts University and Weiss Institute, Harvard University, USA have designed these living robots using the cells from the embryo of Xenopus levis, the African clawed frog and using the evolutionary algorithm of supercomputer. Friends, Xenopus means strange feet and levis means soft. This Xenopus levis frog is characterized by clawed hind legs. The claws are used to tear apart the food like tadpole and small fishes which this frog eats. This frog is so tough that it can live up to 15 years in wild and 25 to 30 years in captivity. This frog can live up to one year without any food. Scientists, they extracted the stem cells from the embryo of the Xenopus levis and they used two kind of building blocks. One were the skin cells and the other were heart cells. Basically, the passive cells, the skin cells, they provided structure and shape to Xenobot and the contractile cell, that is heart cells, which contracted and expanded, they provided movement for this uh, Xenobot. Basically, different configuration of cells provided different results. The computer started with random configuration like this one and an evolutionary algorithm finds a good configuration like this one. This configuration was then built from living cells and the scientists arranged heart cells and skin cells as per the configuration suggested by the evolutionary algorithm and Eureka the Xenobot started moving friends and this movement was uh, due to the contractile cells the heart cells which were used to build this Xenobot to verify that it moves due to the designed features the organism was placed on its back. As expected, the movement stopped. The function of movement was lost, which proved that the Xenobot was moving due to the configuration of heart cells. Now, many different configurations were evolved by a process and uh, the Xenobots were designed and it was repeated indefinitely. The application one was collective behavior how these xenobots collectively work. The application two was object manipulation, how these xenobots can manipulate an object. And the third one was object transport. Xenobot can pick an object and move it to a pre-decided location. Interestingly, when this xenobot was damaged, it repaired itself. So this is a self-repairing machine. Friends, the xenobot can live up to 7 to 10 days and decompose itself. See this, how the xenobot was manufactured. The cells were extracted from the embryo of Xenobus levis and this job was done by microsurgeon Douglas Blackstone. He extracted these skin cells and heart cells and then gently separated it and then arranged these cells as per the configuration suggested by evolutionary algorithm of the supercomputer and this arrangement resulted into the living machine Xenobot. Friends you can see here this was Xenobot. Maybe someday when uh, we were also being designed by God he also may have collected the building blocks and designed a DNA which had the coding for the characteristic and function of human body. Friends, scientists created geometrical shapes of xenobots. Some xenobots with two feet, some with four feet and some with a hole inside so that they can get hold of foreign objects and move them to the desired location. The research was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. Friends, these xenobots are less than one millimeter in size and can live up to seven to ten days and decompose themselves. This research has unlocked unlimited opportunities for human beings. The application of xenobots 
are widespread like collecting microplastics from ocean and cleaning the oceans digesting toxic materials and they can be sent as a team to deliver drugs inside a body where we want it to be delivered then xenobots can enter the arteries and scrap out the plaque the cholesterol and cure the heart disease and of course these xenobots can be used to kill cancer cells so friends it's a new definition of life with xenobots